Hello viewers around the world, also United States of America. Today our third show, Millennium TV 24, today is America. What is going on, United States of America, also globally. Today our first news, President Biden did the mandatory vaccine order our American citizen, residents, non-immigrant, immigrant, all over the people in America, even tourist. Someone live over here, they have to have vaccine. Someone working the government, federal government, state government, city government or private organization. They have to have a vaccine. This is mandatory. Over 100 million people, they do not need the vaccine. They are suffering this pandemic. Also Delta variant. Now is another variant coming from South Africa. So many variants, they change the name, they change the color, they change the article, they change everything, every single day. What is our government going to do? Government have to taking care their own people. Then globally. Biden administration try to help the people globally. Now all Americans have to do their part. Otherwise they are going to have a some kind of court, court or some kind of ticket or some kind of punishment president announced today. This is NPR, AP, also Washington Post, Washington Times, they reported. Viewers, we have to do our part. As an American, we have to help the people, we have to help our neighbor, our own family, also globally. If we do not help our own family, our own neighbor, our own community, how we going to help the globally? President embarrassing globally. He tried to get help from us. We have to help the government. We have to build the government. We don't want to destroy the land and we don't want to destroy the, our government. Please do the vaccine, do the your part, help the people, help your community, help the global village. Next. Stephen Wonder, he get headline today, Global Citizenship Live in Los Angeles. This pandemic killing so many people globally, also United States of America, some part of America right now is suffering so bad. That's why some singer, they try to came out some kind of articles. They have to do some performance to help the people, help the community, help the world and help the global village.
Michael Constantine, he is the big pet Greek wedding. He died at 94. Number three, his life is equal and he is doing very good job globally, also United States of America. He helped the people, our American community, Hollywood community, entertainment community and theater community and so many peoples and we are praying for him God can bless him whatever he did good things for the community for the people Texas abortion law our today's number four headlines our attorney general he filed the lawsuit against the Texas governor and Texas law Texas governor doing so many things last few months for passing the this kind of law voting rights abortion rights human rights he tried to destroy america and he tried to destroy the texas texas is look like a somewhere in desert he tried to build that day. Texas like a one of the desert place in the world. No one cannot live there. No one cannot stay there. No one cannot do the business there. No one cannot do the entertainment there. This is not way American life goes on. You know, our attorney general, he lawsuit against the Texas law attorney general saying federal government with american people and texas people not texas governor federal government always working with the american people and state gov state government city government and people's government we have a one of the best judge he is our attorney general Merrick Garland President Obama tried to put him Supreme Court justice but our senator Republican Senate they do not bring the his contest in the Senate or Congress. Now, Democrat in House, in Senate. White House also. So, President, no many, the guy, he knows very well. The Mary Garland, he is the good, he was a good judge, good lawyer, and now he is a good attorney general for the American people. For all 50 state also our global village he helping the american non-american residents non-residents also everyone he get the equal justice he have equal justice 
he helping the people so texas whatever the texas governor try to do he cannot do anything if federal government give the hand texas governor have to go home and sleep or out of the job number 5 news today from the kabul afghanistan what is going on in afghanistan taliban still cooperation with the american government biden administration also american private agencies over 200 westerns american came out from afghanistan today also so many left no one knows how many fox america one and npr they saying over thousands of people is still left in afghanistan in limbo government cannot help them but white house saying they have a good relation with taliban any one try to came out from the afghanistan they can came out government gonna help them even also government gonna bring them anywhere in the world also united states of america viewers we going to go short break please stay with us What does a Regis divorce, a Regis bankruptcy, and a Regis personal injury claim have in common? Regis lawyers, lawyers who care, convenient, affordable, respectful, and experienced. For over 20 years, we have helped thousands throughout the Hudson Valley, New York City, and Long Island. We work 100% for the 99%. For a free consultation with an experienced attorney, call or text us at 212-766-1100. And yes, we speak Spanish. Millennium TV, bridging communities worldwide. We broadcast diverse international content from Europe, Asia, Africa, and now right here in the USA. Watch us via Roku on your smart TV. Submit your own content to 1530 entertainment llc at gmail.com. Download the Millennium TV app from the App Store to stream our shows anywhere, anytime. Millennium TV. viewers welcome back again today's america trump administration for so many they are loyalist so many place every government do that not only trump every government do this kind of job but trump have a smile that's why biden administration try to get off all trump appointees from military academies air force navies anywhere armed services board of contract these things happen every administration trump administration put his loyalist kellyan conway press secretary 
Spenger also Defense Secretary McMaster and some other royalist, some department, head of the department, director of the, director of the department, board of director or head of director like this. But they should go long time ago. Now is almost nine month Biden administration. They should out first month of the Biden administration. I don't know how they are staying so long. Anyway, every administration came, whatever the last administration, their administrative people and contractor, everyone go away. But Trump, royalist, they don't go away. They stay in the board, they work, they get salary. Right now, President Biden sent the letter from the White House, all defense department, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, all Trump loyalists have to go. But all royalists, they argue with the department. Now, President Biden, he have to order his executive order to throw them out. AP, New York Times, Washington Post, and NPR and Reuters, they are saying these things, you know, is not good things for the last administration, is not good thing for current administration. The last administration, whatever they are, they have to go their administration, their administration is done and they have to go away. But why they are staying so many months? Why? What reason? What kind of contracting job? And what kind of employee they are? They are executive branch worker. If executive branch close up, they have to go away right the way. They cannot stay one minute, but they stay nine months. Still, they'll try to stay? I don't think so. President Biden or American people, no one gonna allow this kind of horrible things. Also, Senate and Congress House Senate and Congress House, they are boundary again by the Iron Gate. Reason? Whatever happens in January 6, same thing again is coming September 18. This reason? All Secretary, sec all department, department of state, through department of finance, energy, and economy, business, and our Senate and Congress House, they put the big gate boundary for threat for this crazy people coming 
Washington, they are going to do what kind of horrible things and we are going to be laughing again. They are American or they are Russian, have to be watched. Where is they are come from? Their color is white, but they are still American or they are coming from somewhere else. Government have to be watched these things. NPR saying this. Viewers, today's our number seven news is Democrat slam the Amazon company. Reason? They are claim some kind of anti-vaccine claim. They have a some kind of medication anti-vaccine. People they don't need to do the vaccine. People can do the anti-vaccine they are fine. This is the Amazon claim today and Congress and Senate they are calling Amazon company also Congress Adam Shift among Senator Elizabeth Warren they call the Amazon company to sit, come to the hearing in Washington soon as possible, probably coming week. And Pierre said that. Number eight. Biden administration would draw the, their nominee from their cabinet for ATF. Republican making so much noise and public making so much noise against the ATF nominee, Mr. David Sipsman. He is the Bureau of Alcohol and Tobacco Head. Biden, Biden administration tried to build a good relation with Democrat, Republican, Independents, also general public. If Congress and Senate do not vote for Biden nominee, it's going to be embarrassing. That's why they would draw the nominee. They're going to put another one. So Congress and Senate can pass the person and put the ATF head. Viewers, ATF one of the largest directorship in United States. Alcohol, Tobacco and Drug Enforcement Agency. So this is not easy job. Someone have to be strong, good principle and good moral and working for the people, working for, for the land and working for the Democrat party. That's why Biden administration would draw the person, the nominee Mr. David David Chimperman. Now is number nine, US Open. 
This year, U.S. Open happening in New York, in Long Island, and Queens, Shia Stadium, and Huntington. Someone, Lila Penandas, 19. She is one of the most influenced person this year to play the US Open. She is also finalist. Her victory is very close. She is immigrant from South America, her family coming from Central America. They live in Canada, Ontario, London, Ontario. Her behalf, her family saying, 19 years old, she is study and she is doing herself very good job and we are proud of her and she can do good things for the Canada and good things for the world. Thank you very much viewers watching our Millennium 24 round the clock watch our news, views, talk show, also current affairs, all the time, anywhere, everywhere, every place, smart TV, Android, iOS, all device, Amazon Fire TV, Roku TV, Apple TV, also, globally, Jadu, Radiant, Jagobidi, also all kind of smart TV. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Take care. Stay safe.